Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, of course this week we had a cumulative update that was released on Wednesday, December the 19th and it's a very important uh, security update for PCs. It's actually been released for Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 and um, they've actually patched even some versions of Windows 10 that were not receiving patches anymore just to make sure that everything's all right so there was not supposed to be any new updates or cumulative updates for windows before the end of the year and it was a surprise to see this appear on our pcs and the reason why it was a major flaw this was really something even though internet explorer is not used uh that much i mean it's below it's, it's close or below 10% of usage now. Um, it was still important to fix it because what happened is that there was a memory corruption flaw within Internet Explorer. And when that happened, it actually opened a security hole. And sim by, by simply sending you a link or having you visit a specific web page that has the targeted uh, exploit, you were open to having anything happen. They could install software in your PC. They could take control of your PC. They could even create a user account with full rights. So that means they were able to do pretty much everything. The other reason why we they actually did this is it was already exploited by bad guys. There were already bad guys out there that knew about it and were using it to try to infect or to take control of PCs. The flaw was discovered by Google, and of course Google uh, sent the information to uh, Microsoft saying, hey, you got a major security flaw here. So basically what they did is uh, update the Internet Explorer browser um, and modified how the scripting engine handles objects in memory. So by having that update, well, you're uh, safe. Even if they would send you a bad link, you can't be infected or you know you can't your pc cannot be uh, taken control of this is a fix that's very very important one of the reasons also that um, often we don't think about but there are um, reasons why you might want to actually have it fixed you might say i don't use internet explorer and so you know it doesn't matter for me well the way that links can be done sometimes it can actually force a specific browser to pop up so th there could be a link somewhere or, or something that you click that will actually make Internet Explorer pop up. So there are different ways and there are also different things that the PC does sometimes that will use the Internet Explorer engine without you really knowing that you were actually using uh, Internet Explorer. So it's very important to update your systems whether you're on Windows 7, uh, Windows 8 or Windows 10 because this is a major flaw that was discovered this week. So uh, apply the updates, make sure that you're at the latest version of the security updates on your PC. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.